YouTubers and welcome to another beer review from, and another beer review from the Morphs Winter Cascade Festival. Today joined by Jakob the Lord of Wolves and also to um, the Tubby Nerd Dog. <laughs> yeah, who just showed up like a minute ago. And uh, yeah, today we're looking at Jaguar um, from Thornbridge. Yeah, another Thornbridge beer. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, this is their IPA. Made with some American hops, it's on 5.8, right? Or 5.9. Yeah, there's some differences, but this is the cask version, so you're not entirely sure, actually. I think the cask version is just a tad higher than the okay. bottom version. But yeah, we got it poured, and it's exactly. We can see it in ours. <laughs> yeah. It's a golden, dull color. It kind of looks like the, the J Wing. Yeah, uh, maybe a little lighter in the color, more pale yellow. Yeah, a little bit of a white head. Yep. So you got your own. Jaywig actually had more more of an intense hop aroma than this. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah, I think this this one here has a little just a hint, but not really what you would expect for a, a nice full blown American beer. Yeah. So it's not as intense. I still get the grapefruit and the citrus and kind of orange aromas yeah. and some caramel it's just maltiness nice. as well. Yeah, definitely sweeter maltiness too. Yeah. It isn't as maybe a little bit floral, but it isn't as uh, forward and in your face as Jaywood was. But we we're talking with the uh, Fergus also about these Stonebridge beers, and there's been a change a little in some of them because they've just gotten a new brewer or head brewer, so that might be why. But yeah, it works great for some bird beers, but not so great for others. But uh, yeah, yeah, let's let's give it a taste. Oh, maybe a little bit of Yeah, just. Yeah, not, it, it feels a little more bitter though, but not nearly as hoppy as Jamie, which we just reviewed. Yeah. Yeah. I get yeah, not, not as hot, hot forward, no, but it still is very nice. I get the grapefruit notes, the citrusy notes, mouthfeel, medium. Yeah, it has an almost earthy or something like that, hot flavor, like this weird, I would say, since this is my first beer, yeah. it's, 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 for me it's very bitter, it's, it's very grapefruity, it's got a whole lot of um, yeah, earthy like, yeah, notes to it, as well as a citrus grape, um, a hint of tropical fruit in the background. But it's not as intense, but I think that's because we just had the J-Wing and that yeah. seemed more intense than this, yeah. so yeah. for us, our palates it seemed more dulled down. Yeah. We should have probably had this first, but oh well. We went ABV wise. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a palate cleanser after this. <laughs> yeah. But still, it's really good. It's a really good like English interpretation of the IPA style. Yeah. It still has a Oh, the English interpretation of the American IPA style. Yeah. It has a buttery kind of sensation. Yeah. 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 Diacetyl butteriness. Along with a little bit of sweet ball. But I still think it's a great idea. Oh, yeah. I, I really like it. I like it much more on cast than I do in the bottle. Uh, but yeah, rating wise for me. One thing we should be uh, um, aware of is that this one's been on the cast for either for three days now. Yeah. So it's not the prime condition, but we're getting the drakes too. Because uh, Fergus told us it was almost empty. But yeah. It's so great. I'm going to give it an 80. It's a really nice English interpretation of the IPA, uh, American IPA style. Really accessible. You can drink a lot of it. But I still prefer the J-Wick. Yeah, which was the way I I prefer the J-Wick as well. And this one, 81. This is a great beer. And still one of my favorite Cascales. Oh, yeah. I'll, I think I might like Kipton a little bit more, though. Uh, well, Nelson told me. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go uh, prep for that. I on this one. I'm going to say 88, 90. Right in that area. Yeah. Um, knowing what it tasted like a few days ago and yeah. what it tastes like now. Yeah, it's, it's that's the whole thing with cast beers, they develop a lot. Yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely. If you haven't had Thornbridge uh, J. Poor, you need to check it out because it's yeah. one of their flagship beers, one of the most iconic beers, so definitely give it a go. Uh, that does it for this review, guys. Uh, from Thornbridge J. Poor at the Wolves Winter Cascale Festival. Uh, drop by if you have the chance. This video might be after it's done. I'm not 100% sure yet because we have 10 reviews to shoot in total, so quite a few. Uh, so, yeah, guys. If you've had that before, definitely let us know what you think of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan pages, and Twitter. Cheers! Cheers! We're gonna see you guys.